Kat is getting the blame for Charlie's heart attack, and Mo tells her she's not welcome at the funeral, although Stacy supports her, much to Martin's relief. But Stacy's behaviour deteriorates, and when Carl shows up, Martin tells him to leave, sharpish. Stacy sees them talking, and she grows fearful for Arthur. On the day of the funeral, she panics when she sees Jean has given Arthur to Martin, and when Carl turns up, it tips her over the edge. She starts telling everyone he's the devil. Stacy seeks refuge with Kush and Shabnam, but it's clear she needs urgent medical help. During a lucid moment, Martin convinces her hospital is the only safe place for her and Arthur. Will she agree? Meanwhile, Kat's nervous on the day of the funeral, but she's determined to go. That has to end badly. Kathy and Shirley visit Bill in hospital, but Sharon's already there and explains he's discharged himself and that Louise was telling the truth. His liver is badly damaged. Eventually, they find him in the Vic, causing trouble when Nancy refuses to serve him. Sharon's had enough and makes a startling decision. Next, we look in on Corey. After reuniting with Robert, Tracy decides to surprise him at the bistro in some sexy underwear, only to overhear him and Carla talking about their night of passion. As Robert tells Carla he's sticking around, a furious Tracy contemplates grabbing a knife, just as Jamie and Lee break in, hoping to frighten Steph. Instead, they find Carla and grab her bag while Tracy sneaks out. Carla follows the thugs, and in the fracas, she's dragged down the street by their car. Carla's in a bad way in hospital, but as Nick lovingly tells her they'll have the dream wedding, Tracy forms a vengeful plan. Robert, meanwhile, panics when he realises Tracy was hiding in the bistro. Creepy builder Phelan is back on the scene, and Kevin's grateful for his help on the Archers project, while Sally's angry to learn Anna and Kev are an item. Anna's upset to hear Phelan is now working for Kevin, but she's insistent to Izzy that Kev can't find out what happened between them. Kevin's intrigued when Phelan tells him he's got history with Anna, so will she tell him her side of the story? Finally, we drop into the Dales. Aaron follows Chaz and is shocked to find her meeting Gordon. He insists she stops seeing him, but later he collapses when Robert finds him leaving town. He's taken to hospital, but Robert's alarmed when he quickly discharges himself and makes a dark revelation about Gordon. He urges Aaron to tell Chaz his childhood secret, but she's agreed to let Gordon become a silent partner in the Woolly. Awkward all round. A jealous Kieran tells Adam to stay away from Johnny and reveals he can't forgive Rakesh for lying and plots his revenge. But Vanessa talks him round and Kieran apologises to Adam, who helps him learn how to feed Johnny, despite his breaking heart. Nikhil tells Rishi he wants to be with Layla for real, but she's hurt when Jacob doesn't want to live with her. Can Nikhil be the diplomat in a difficult situation? 